Hello there YouTube, and today I'm going to show you a couple tools inside Advanced System Care 8.1 Pro. Uh, first, you notice we have the Care tab, which will just, you can just click Scan, and it basically does whatever one of these that you selected. I normally just do select all the first scan and do that, but for this video purposes, I'll just do a couple of these. And I just did this, so nothing will probably come up on here but when you click scan another thing will come up like this we can either skip stop automatic repair or shut down the computer hibernate restart such like that just going to skip these because i know there's nothing there already junk files when i get done with this one we'll see what the next step will be it will be if there is any junk files and there is okay it'll come up just like this and it'll tell you how many problems that you found that it's found you can click repair to fix these or leave them the way they are you can even view what they are by clicking on it so here it just says it's a log from system 32 file I don't know what that is I don't care what it is this program says that it needs to be gone so it needs to be gone so I'm just gonna go ahead and click repair it's going to create a rollback. So if anything happens while it's trying to repair, it will just roll back. Then it will repair. It went really quick and comes to this. Then there's an exclusive offer. You don't ever want to do that. Just click finish. We also have a turbo tab. This turbo tab you can configure for gaming, for Word, and such like that. What it basically does is just disables parts of the computer, services, background apps, manages your power plan, and other stuff just like that with just a simple click of the button here. And you can see this thing will boost, boosting. After it's done boosting, it'll tell you at the bottom when it's done. So it optimized our PC, it released some RAM, stopped 13 services for gaming. I'm going to go ahead and restore those 13 services by clicking restore in the middle there again. And then it goes from on to off, basically re repairing what it did. In the toolbar box here you have smart RAM, which will just clear up memory space. You can also view the smart RAM with this little traction program monitor up here, clean RAM. And it'll clean RAM and release memory. Basically the same thing as a smart RAM inside the program. You can boost your internet. Um, on work internet, so I'm not going to really do that. You can customize in Windows 8 a startup menu here. Which will make this here different than what it is now. Just looks cooler for the Windows 8 version, as you know, Windows 8 sometimes doesn't come with the Start Menu button, so that's always helpful. This is one that I particularly like, is the Driver Booster. Let's see if we can get it to load real quick. Basically, if you have any kind of outdated drivers on your computer, and if you're using this program, you probably do, this will just go through your computer and make sure everything is up to date driver wise. I may not find anything because I've already done this once, but we'll see what happens when it goes through the system here. Um, this activate now button will come on. You just don't worry about that at all. It's already activated. This is the free version apparently. So it says I've already updated 16 of my drivers. It tells me the date that I've updated them. Stuff that's unplugged. Just goes through all your drivers, which is nice to know. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Empty folder scanner. Even though a folder is empty, it still carries space. This will find it and delete it for you. Disk Doctor, Smart Defrag. I always recommend you defragging your hard drive about once a month, so the smart defrag is a very great option. Um, it comes up just like this. You're allowed to pick what hard drive. 
uh, automatic defragging on or not. Um, and here you can see I've already scanned once, so I'm not going to scan it now. It takes time, so. We have an uninstaller. Um, most of the times when you download a program and you don't want it and you uninstall it, there's always, always going to be some of that file still on your computer. So let's see if I can find something. Here we go. This thing right here I don't need anymore. So we can just uninstall. I can create a restore point if I like, but I don't want to. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go ahead and install this. Hide my IP address program. I don't want it on here anymore. I don't need it on here anymore. Um, so here it's uninstalling, as you can see. Once this is done installing, we can come back to it and find out. Alright, now we're done uninstalling. You can see it says click on install is done. But like I said before, there's always more of the file on the computer, so it gives you this powerful scan option. I will click this for this program. I do not want any of this program left on this specific computer. So it's going to scan my entire computer for files made by this program. And we'll come back to that in a minute. Alright, welcome back. Now that we're back and we get this error, well it's not really an error, it's just telling us that this specific program didn't have any other files on here so we can just click OK and that's gone now. Honor Buddy, old program I don't ever use. Let's go ahead and uninstall. Like I said before, uninstall. It will uninstall. Powerful scan, yes. Let's see if there's any leftovers by this program. Come back to it when it's done. Alright, welcome back. And now that we're back, it says that there's 28 items left by this program. 26 of them being registry files and two of them just being normal files and the looks like application data local area so just a random area that it's left some data so we can go ahead and click this button here which just selects all 28 of them and we can just go ahead and delete are we sure we want to delete yes congratulations we've now deleted all the leftovers and now that program will be gone. It also gives you toolbars and, and plugins and the Windows applications as well. And you can get rid of those if you don't want them on there. Which I might look into that after a little bit. So yeah, I mean there's a bunch of different helpful things that you can do with just this one simple program. Like I showed in the other video, it's very simple to uh, install. It's just click, click copy paste you're about done um, I recommend doing about all the pro version things on here that say pro uh, and driver booster is a must just go through here basically select all and scan and you can see my PC is now in good standings where in the very first video if you watch it was yellow so Thanks for watching. I'm um, sorry to cut off in the middle of the last video. I had a guest walk in while I was working, so I had to kind of shut it off and edit that part out. But uh, I'll be making some more videos like this later down the road I get, when I get bored and stuff like that. So thanks for watching again, and I hope this helped you in any way learn the program, learn what it's about, and how to get it for free. Thanks again.